Nickelodeon. George, the only thing left to do is to sign your ad. Oh, let's give you a sexy nickname. Okay, how about Captain Fluffy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, or... Zeke, the amazing piece of toast! <laughs> yeah, um, I don't really know about that. Zarzon 5000, ruler of the Kalzunian Empire? Yeah. Okay. Oh, what about Mr. Midnight? Ah, oh, it's no Captain Fluffy, but it'll do. <laughs> hey, guys, guys, anyone see Miss Atoll? Wait, wait, you're going to give chocolates to Miss Atoll? It's called sucking up, Morgan. I've got to get out of that detention. Why didn't you just tell her that the bucket was Ethan's? <laughs> I tried. She wouldn't believe me. That guy's got ten solid years of suckiness behind him. His reputation is spotless. <laughs> There's not a way out of this, Cap. R really? What, uh, what, uh, what do you got there, Roger? Time travel. <laughs> See, all you have to do is create this machine that would allow you to go back to the moment before Mr. Tall entered the... Georgie. Yeah? Shut up. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Tall. Are you busy? <laughs> Ethan. Ethan. What are you doing here, man? Hi, Kev. I'm drawing a picture of Miss Atoll. No, no, no. Will you get out here? You're gonna get me in trouble again. But I haven't signed it yet. Ow! <laughs> oh, Angus, it's just to introduce me. It's a little five minutes. Uh, I'll write it then. Chocolate? <laughs> you have to stop, Ethan. All you're doing is getting me in more trouble. You were the one who kicked me out of the classroom. If I'd stayed, then I would have the detention now. No, 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 no. She would have blamed me somehow. She blames me for everything. The other day she hinted that I might have something to do with global warming. <laughs> well, I'm not stopping one way or another. I'm gonna get rid of my sucky image. But you... Wait. Okay, hold on. Hold on, okay. Okay, I'm a genius. What? Yes, maybe, maybe there's a way that we can help each other. All right, everyone, take your... <laughs> what on earth are you doing? I'm a rebel, Mr. Tall. I'm thumbing my nose at authority. <laughs> Ethan, I'm ashamed of you. You are being disruptive and disrespectful. Yes, I am. And I'm enjoying it. <laughs> He's got a weapon! Whoa. Stand yeah. back! No, you fiend! What do you think Not Miss Atoll! Ah! <laughs> 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 oh, oh, are you all right? I, uh, <laughs> think so. Oh, that, that was a very, very brave thing you did. <gasps> Uh, I owe you a big apology. You tried to tell me the truth and I wouldn't listen, but now I see that Ethan is the troublemaker around here. Uh, your detention is <laughs> canceled. But I want to see you in detention all of this week and all of next. <laughs> yes! Thanks, Mr. Tall. See you later. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Upper Redwood High's Most Wanted. Well, the reign of terror continues from Upper Redwood's newest bad boy, Ethan St. John. In only four days, he has managed to rack up over 20 detentions. His wild acts of rebellion include interrupting school assembly by singing a medley of tunes from The Lion King and replacing the coffee in the staff room with motor oil. No one noticed this last one, but Ethan confessed to it anyway. Will his campaign of naughtiness ever end? Tune in next time and find out. Until then, take care, fellow prisoners. I'm Morgan Lee. <laughs> I got a response to my ad! Oh, George, that is so great! Dear Mr. Midnight, thank you for placing an advertisement in our newspaper. You owe us seven dollars. Yeah! Cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Morgan.
Morgie Wargy? Georgie Wargy? Well, well, don't you seem happy whappy. Morgan, you would not believe how wonderful my life has become. Now that Ethan is the bad guy and Mr. Tall has forgotten all about me, I am free. I can laugh and I can sing. I can do what I want, when I want. Yes, thanks to the miracle of Ethan, I can forget about all my worries and live my life to the fullest. And isn't that what life is all about? Wow, this Ethan stuff sounds great. Is it available in a liquid? <laughs> <clears throat> so, Kevin, what, what exactly is Ethan getting from all this again? Well, <clears throat> he thinks it's going to help him get chicks. <laughs> As if. Oh, he, he thinks. Yeah, well, look, just between you and me, no matter how much Ethan changes his image, he's still going to be, uh, let's be honest, Ethan. Right. Well, Kevin, to be honest, Attention, I think... everyone! Has anyone seen Ethan? Oh, hi, Miss Atoll. How are you today? Ethan, where is Ethan? Your hair looks lovely! <laughs> <laughs> well, when he arrives, tell him that hey, I want... <laughs> Were you looking for me, Miss Atoll? <laughs> what on earth are you wearing? My doggy jammies. <laughs> and why, may I ask, are you wearing your doggy jammies? My rocket ship jammies were in the wash. <laughs> you were violating the school's dress code. Yeah, but I just didn't feel like dressing this morning. Just wasn't into it kind of thing. <laughs> you realize this means a detention. Aww. <laughs> I don't know what has come over you lately, Ethan. You used to be such a... such a... No, what's the word? A suck? Exactly. <laughs> and now you've turned into some sort of crazed doggy jammy wearing hooligan. <laughs> I want this behavior to stop. Do you understand? I want you to start acting more like Kevin here. <laughs> Do you understand me? Yes, Miss Atoll. Good. Oh, man, this is too good to be true. Did you hear that? She wants you to be more like me. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it is. Things sure have changed. Now everyone thinks you're a suck, and I've got a date with Susie Kaflutsky. I know. I mean, it's a... What? <laughs> I've got a date with Susie on Friday. Whoa, 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 whoa. I've got a date with Susie on Friday, pal. Not anymore. She thinks you're a suck, and she hates sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Mr. Midnight, I love your ad. <laughs> she loved the ad. You sound like you're fun. I am fun. How does she know? <laughs> I would love to hear from you. She'd love to hear from me. Yours truly. She's mine. Truly. <laughs> Lady Sunshine. Oh, this is great. And the paper she wrote on smells like... paper. <laughs> You're gonna write her back then, huh, George? I already did, but I want you to see it before I send it. Okay. <clears throat> uh, it's a bit short. Well, you said to keep it brief. Yeah, but George, hello, is too brief. <laughs> I cannot believe what's happening to me. The whole school thinks I'm a suck. Everything has gone wrong. Not everything, Kev. What, George? What hasn't gone wrong? Your stomach didn't explode. <laughs> Thanks, George. I didn't think of that for some reason. Hey, guys, what's going on? Kevin's stomach didn't explode. <laughs> That's good, George. Ethan, listen to me, okay? It's over. It was fun, but let's just go back to the way things were, all right? What are you talking about? I need to get my reputation back, so you have to stop being a bad boy. No way! I'm not stopping. I finally got rid of my sucky image. Ethan, you don't understand. Ethan! Do you know anything about the slab of meatloaf that was found in the photocopy machine? <laughs> I might. <laughs> well, I want Mr. to... Mr. I, I put a rattlesnake in the principal's desk this morning. <laughs> Not now, Kevin. I, 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 I put piranhas in the swimming pool. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to come with me right now and clean up the mess. I run with scissors. <laughs> You like it? It was my great uncle Lenny's suit. He was buried in it. 
going to meet Lady Sunshine after school. Oh. Hey, guys, anyone see Mrs. Toth? Uh, yeah, I think she's down there. Why, Kevin, what have you done? You'll see. Oh, you'll see. <laughs> anyone see Mrs. Toth? She's over there somewhere. <laughs> you guys think Ethan's back? He's an amateur compared to me. Have any of you seen Ethan? Yeah, uh, he yeah you're studying the library over there. The library? Mm -hmm. That doesn't... There he is. What is he doing? Uh, Ethan! Mr. Tall, listen to me. Listen to me. Follow me. Over Get here. out of my what way. What is this over here? What is this over here, Mr. Tall? It's a fire alarm. Really? What? Okay, now observe. <gasps> Kevin! <laughs> Kevin, I think you already know why I asked you here. Thanks to you, this entire school was evacuated this afternoon. <laughs> That's 547 students and 58 teachers. Also, again, thanks to you, seven fire engines, two police cars, and an ambulance were sent here. And so, on behalf of the entire school, I want to thank you very much. <laughs> I don't know how you knew that there was a grease fire in the cafeteria kitchen, but thanks to your presence of mind, it was extinguished quickly, and no one was injured. <laughs> Fire? Indeed, you may have saved all of our lives. And so, I am pleased to be able to tell you that I have chosen you to be... Model Student of the Month! <laughs> oh, congratulations! Um... <laughs> For you, Ethan, I have had it up to here with your antics. You are in detention after school until the end of the year. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I have an appointment. What's wrong with you? I thought you wanted detentions. Not anymore. I have no time to see Susie. She says if I'm not more available, she'll dump me. Oh, that sounds familiar. <laughs> Paper. <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> Hi, how are uh, Hi. Good afternoon, George. Not going home today, George. Um, yeah, but I'm supposed to meet someone here. Oh, well. So am I. Grange Hill. Then a script that's written by...